Introducing Shimano DC braking. The new DC brake is constructed to provide trouble-free casting to anglers. Conventional braking systems require a substantial amount of thumbing to prevent backlash. But DC brake eliminates trouble and reduces thumbing. DC brake provides ultra-long distance for anglers with less thumbing and trouble. Let's see the mechanism of DC brake. When the spool starts to revolve, an electric current is generated through the coil. The intelligent microcomputer constantly measures spool speed and controls it to prevent backlash. The DC brake system doesn't require any batteries or charging. The microcomputer measures and controls spool revolution at 1 1,000th of a second intervals and applies the appropriate amount of brake to prevent backlash. This is an actual casting seam. DC brake can provide trouble-free casting for a wide variety of lures and conditions by simply adjusting the external brake dial. No other manual adjustment is required. Conventional brake systems require more thumbing and more adjustment to the brake to best match lures and conditions. With conventional brakes, an incorrect adjustment can greatly limit casting distance and cause backlash. However, DC brake provides you trouble-free casting with less manual adjustment, regardless of lure or conditions. DC brake can match any conditions to provide anglers with easy, trouble-free, and long-distance casting. Perfect casts, any time and every situation. The newest innovation in braking systems, Shimano. The new Speed Demon Elite skipping and pitching monster. This thing is beautiful. See that shallow spool? Heavy duty for winching in monsters at a nasty structure right here. Eight six to one gear ratio, 10 plus one stainless steel shielded ball bearings, true centrifugal braking system on this thing, plus a triple disc carbon fiber drag. I mean, this thing is supported. You've got a double supported main shaft. You got hardened gears on this thing. It is set up to just flat out get out there and just fish with the best of them. You want to go yank monsters out of some trees? Tie on your favorite braided line, get into flipping, get into skipping, and go have yourself a good time. So I'm gonna put some line on this skipping and pitching Speed Demon Elite and go have some fun. Mega Jaws Elite Fishing Reels have a revolutionary AMB auto adjustment magnetic braking system. The AMB system automatically adjusts the brakes depending on the speed of the spool. Four discs rotate out for more braking power. As the spool slows down, one pair retracts, decreasing the magnetic brake force. As the spool slows down further, the other pair of discs retract. With the Cast King AMB system, you'll never worry about backlashes again. The Palm Perfect design gives it a low profile height of 41 millimeters. Cast King LFTV line guide system greatly reduces fishing line friction through the line guide, giving you super long casts and also reducing backlash. Cast King put its best features in this bait cast reel. Precision Digicut 7075 Aerospace Aluminum Main Gears, Manganese Brass Pinion Gears for increased durability, and 17.6 pound triple carbon disc drag. CNC machined aluminum frame with a carbon fiber swing wing side cover for a 6.4 ounce weigh-in. It reduces fatigue. You'll want to fish with it all day long. The carbon ninja styled star drag takes this reel to the next level. Beautiful machined aluminum handle with Cast King spectacular EVA handle grips for all day fishing. New Calamus Baycasting Fishing Reel is ready to deliver unparalleled performance and comfort. With only 6.7 ounce weight, this compact size baycasting fishing reel combines smooth side covers and a recessed braking adjustment dial that makes the reel comfortable even after thousands of casts during a day of fishing. 
The recessed braking adjustment dial and eight magnets allowed the angler to set the perfect braking power. You can confidently cast any type of lure or bait without worrying about backlashes. Calamus bait casters are equipped with precision machined brass gears for strength and durability and a lightweight graphite frame gives you all day comfort and reliability. 17.6 pounds of drag at a super low price. The Vertex bait cast reel is loaded with premium features. The easy to adjust magnetic braking system minimizes backlashes and makes for smooth casting no matter what you're throwing. The 9 plus 1 ball bearing system delivers maximum smoothness during retrieval and the compact design gives you all day comfort. The star drag allows you to adjust the carbon fiber drag system. This premium drag system always provides smooth and consistent pressure. With a max drag of 20 pounds, fish will have to think twice before running away. The braid ready spool allows you to tie braid directly onto the spool and eliminates any chance of line slips. The Vertex reel comes with a 6 6 to 1 gear ratio in your choice between a sleek dark gray or orange cosmetic finish. All these features bring you confidence so that you can focus on the fish and have fun in the outdoors. Hey guys, Shane with Casking here and I'm going to teach you the difference between a right handed bait casting reel and a left handed bait casting reel. This is a right handed bait casting reel. As you can see, the handle is on the right side. So when you're holding it and you press the thumb button, your retrieve is on the right side. This is a left-handed retrieve bait cast fishing reel. As you can see, the handle is on the left side when you press the thumb bar and you reel with your left hand. So again, my name is Shane with Casking and this has been how to determine the difference between a right-handed bait casting reel and a left-handed bait casting reel. Introducing the PC Fun Torrent 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. The Torrent features a durable and comfortable thumb bar. The adjustable magnetic braking system is great for making on-the-fly adjustments while on the water. The premium three-layer carbon drag offers 18 pounds of stopping power. The audible micro adjust tension knob is great for those fine adjustments. The torrent offers an extended aluminum handle as well as a perfect 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. 5 plus 1 shielded bearings make the torrent ultra smooth and easy to retrieve. So, you want to catch a muskie? Well, good luck. Get ready for heartbreak and disappointment. This is about willpower. It is about how much you can stand. Because this isn't your ordinary showdown. This is a dance with a fish of a thousand casts. Which, if I'm being honest, is an understatement. Here's one, here's one, here's one. This is more than a thousand casts. It is 10,000 casts. This is the grind. Against the biting cold and your own fading focus. Against your own body shutting down and betraying. You can make as many figure eights as you want, but it just doesn't matter. Fishing has designed the first bearingless reel. Really is a game changer. Casting capabilities are exceptional, especially with lightweight lures right through to the heavy stuff, which you know makes it a very versatile reel. 22 pounds of drag, so you can really put some hurt on fish, you know, when you, when you need to, which yes. is quite common here in, in amongst the trees at Timber Dam. Just 
having that ability to, when they're being really fussy, you can punch a small lure into the wind through the trees and, you know, when you do hook up, you've got that, that speed and power, you know, it's the perfect combination when you need to get them back through it. Hi, Mike Rice, Penn Brand Manager, here to talk to you about an exciting new spinning reel. Not, not exactly new, but a relaunch of the Battle 2. So the original Battle came out quite a few years ago, and we've now made some improvements to the reel I want to talk to you about. But let's start with the sizes. So we've got a 1,000, a 2,000, a new size of 2,500, a 3,000, a 4,000, a 5,000, 6,000, and our biggest size is the 8,000. So 1,000 to 8,000. So think light, light, light inshore or really even light freshwater all the way up to uh, near shore, offshore, think sailfish, think dolphin, that type of stuff. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the reel. First of all, on the sizing with the new 2500, uh, the reel is on the 2000 size body. It, also, it has a new rotor, so a bigger rotor and a bigger spool. So it filled a gap that we had between that 2000, 3000 size, so think really technical lightweight graphite rods, think 10, 15 pound braid. Uh, there was a little bit of a gap in our spinning reel lineup for that technical inshore guy and we've now filled it with a 2500 size. Really lightweight, balances out really nice on, on a nice graphite seven foot rod. Um, in addition to the new size, let's talk a little bit about the features that set this new battle apart. So we've added line capacity rings to the spool. Uh, that's something you've seen on all pen reels for the past few years, so it kind of helps the angler understand well, how much line they have left on the reel, uh, especially when fishing from a dead boat, big fish, how much line do I have left, do we need to go, can we stay, that type of conversation. Uh, you have a better idea uh, how much line you have left on the reel because of the line capacity rings. Uh, another thing we did is we keyed the drag washers into the spool. So by keying the drag washers into the spool, and I'm talking about HC100 drag washers, we're now able to use both sides of the drag washer. And I should mention that all pen drag systems now are greased. On the spinning reels, we use our pen blue lube, uh, which I'm sure you're familiar with. It's inside all our reels. We also grease our HC100 with that for our spinning reel drags. Um, back to the, uh, the keying of the drag washers. What that does, by, by using both sides of the drag washer, we're now able to get about 20% more drag than the previous battle. Not that a lot of people max out the drag, but it's always nice to know you have it if you have to stop a fish heading for cover or that's about to spool you. Uh, another big upgrade uh, in my mind is that we're going to sealed bearings in the battle. So in the past we've used stainless steel shielded ball bearings. That shield protects the race from basically saltwater intrusion. But the seal ball bearings have an added layer of protection. I mean, it's actually a tight system that's, that prevents saltwater from getting into the bearing. The number one reason reels come back to the repair shop is because saltwater got into a bearing, uh, it dried out, it crystallized, and now the bearing sounds rough and the reel feels rough. Um, by having a sealed bearing, we're, we're able to avoid that situation a little longer than if we were using uh, shielded bearings. It's not 100% sure, but the bearings are sealed from the manufacturer. Uh, so, so that's where that's where we are. We're sticking around the same uh, same retail. So basically, 99 to 129 on on the biggest size. Uh, the battle be, battle reel will be available at your retailer this fall, fall 2014. Check. <laughs>